Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Sketches Inc. TV. Today actually is a very cool day for us. As we're recording it, it's actually May 16th, which is four years to the day since we opened the doors. So big shout out to all our supporters, friends, family, customers, um, help make this happen. Obviously we've come a long way and we've got a long way to go. So let's get right into it. Uh, so this week's episode, we're doing a guitar, um, which kind of came about to us in a roundabout way. Um, it was actually dropped off to us uh, by a customer who had another guitar done and uh, he didn't like it, kind of left it with us, said, you know what, it's a gift to the shop, you guys do what you want with it. So first thing I did was uh, I started saying it down. So originally I was going to prime this, paint it, custom paint. And then as I started sanding it, I kind of got this really old school weathered look and uh, kind of really like it. So it kind of put a wrench in my original designs. It's almost like when you're redoing a house and you pull the carpets up and you got this beautiful uh, wood floor underneath. That's kind of what I have here. So I'm going to abandon my original, original thoughts and uh, clear it and then do some pinstriping on it. So. What I did next was I actually clear coated it and basically to seal the really nice finish that we ended up with to, so that we can move on to the next step. I'm gonna give it a wet sanding so that we can put our next step on, which is our pinstripe. Okay, so now that the guitar is all cleared, wet sanded, I'm gonna to get to pinstriping. A lot of people don't know, but actually pinstriping was started a really long time ago. I won't say the exact year, but um, those who know, know. By a gentleman named Von Dutch, who actually started pinstriping to hide sand scratches. So to start pinstriping, honestly with this project, I didn't really have a direction that I wanted to go. Kind of wanted to just wing it and see what happened. So I uh, picked up the brush and went at it. All right, so now that all the pinstriping is done, put a couple coats of matte clear on it. Um, I really wanted that kind of old school weathered look. I didn't want to do anything glossy, so I put a matte clear on it before we finish it up. All right, so now that the, uh, the guitar is pinstriped, it's clear coated, basically gets our seal of approval. Uh, we sent it off to my good buddy Ian at uh, Weston Instruments in Canada, and uh, he's gonna do all the technical stuff and put it together for us.
Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Sketches Inc. TV. Um, again, big shout out to all our supporters for helping make us to uh, four years. Um, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up, um, so stay tuned. We got uh, a sticker pack, custom sticker pack that we've done. Uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next week.